Hello dear viewers, Masud Nasir and you are watching Mr. Zolis YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about pre-harvesting and post-harvesting care. So why it is done? It has different purposes to check out how much your pond or your tank supports the culture system. You are, if you want to grow or cultivate fishes over there. So before harvesting you have to check about the pond capacity and you will see how much production a pond can give. You can put some samples into the pond and check how much uh, growth or how much uh, production it can support. And second is health of fish. Uh, before cultivation or before harvesting you have to check out what is the health of seed. Seed of fish you want to put into the pond or into the tank that you want to cultivate or harvest. You have to check about its health. If its health is not good, how can it will benefit you in the culture? Or how can it will benefit you after harvesting? You will uh, check about uh, cost of the culture system or benefits you have gained from that. Third one is water quality. You have to maintain the water quality in the pond or tank also. You will have to check that how much uh, water is uh, good or how much dissolved oxygen level is in the water level. If the water uh, quality is bad, then your quality or health of the fish will also be affected. And the fourth one is temperature. Some fishes uh, require a cooler temperature at the time of harvesting and some require warmer temperature. If you, can, uh, if you want to cultivate the uh, warmer temperature uh, fishes, you have to cultivate them in the afternoon. And if your fish is uh, cold water temperature, then you have to cultivate it in the early morning or in the late in the evening. And you have to check at the weather also because after harvesting you have to transport your culture to a market uh, to market to a large distance might be. Uh, so you have to check the weather if the weather is not good how you can uh, transfer your culture to a market. The, these are the steps you have to look upon before harvesting your culture in a pond or in a tank. And what are the post harvesting care? You have harvested your culture. You have got your culture and the next step is post harvesting care. And these post <coughs> harvesting gates have to be taken place for the proper management of your stock. First one is sorting. Sorting is the essential step of your culture system uh, after harvesting. You have to sort out the different sized fishes, different weight bearing fishes and you have to also sort out diseased or decayed fishes from the healthy fishes. If the diseased fishes will remain with the uh, normal fishes they will also uh, lead to uh, diseases or some disaster may spread in your culture system that will lead uh, you up lead to your dis disastrous results uh, resulting in uh, almost a loss and the second step is off flavor you have to check your fishes like that of catfish that gives sometimes off flavor that off flavor or bad smell can uh, spread and uh, people will not like to eat these kind of fishes which give off flavors you have to also check these bad smells you can uh, remove these off flavors with two methods. One is to bath them with a continuously flowing water, keep them in the continuously flowing water or uh, place them in the animal charcoal uh, solution. And the third one is icing. If you want to transport your or uh, import your fishes to a longer distances like in different countries, then you have to ice them. You have to use ice cubes of small spherical sizes and that ratio uh, of fish size is about one ratio, one or you can also use 1 ratio 2 or 1 ratio 3 according to the size of the fish that will be of ice cube that will be of fish size 3 times greater than the, these cubes so these IC methods help you to uh, maintain the taste and do not lead to the uh, spoilage of your culture or your fishes uh, to a large distances so icing is also a better option uh, for transporting your fishes to a market and the fourth one is you know, what is a good practice for after you have cultivated, you, have, you want to transport your fish or culture to a market where people will purchase uh, your culture, your fishes, harvested fishes. So good practice is that never peel off your fish or never cut the gut contents of the fish uh, before uh, transportation because if you uh, cut the gut content of the fish that will uh, lead to the longer distance transportation for the fish means the fish will not spoil earlier if you uh, remove the gut content of the fish but sometimes customer wants the whole fish so how will you provide them if you have cut already their gut contents uh, the customer will not be satisfied that is not a good practice provide the customer with whole fish if they want 
provide them what they want at the place where they will see that the fish was whole not some parts were brought from somewhere and some from somewhere that is a pre harvesting and post harvesting in pre harvesting we discussed pre sampling health of fish water quality temperature weather in post harvesting we have discussed sorting of flavor icing and what are good practices for uh, post harvesting culture that was the topic for today hope so you enjoyed we will meet you in the next video till then peace out